Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The Express Start feature lets you quickly create a new company file. This feature simplifies and segments the steps in the Easy Step interview into shorter sections so you can start using QuickBooks right away. When you first open QuickBooks, the option to create a company file using the Express Start feature appears in the QuickBooks desktop setup screen. This is the same screen that opens if you select File, New Company from the menu bar, or click the Create a New Company button shown in the No Company Open window. To use the Express Start feature, first select either the For Myself, I'm the Admin, or the For Someone Else option button in the QuickBooks Desktop Setup screen. To continue using the Express Start Setup, click the Start Setup button to continue. Alternatively, for advanced features and setup, you can instead use the Easy Step interview to thoroughly customize your company file. To do this, click the Other Options drop-down button at the bottom of the QuickBooks Desktop Setup screen instead. Then click the Advanced Setup command in the drop-down menu to use the Easy Step interview, which is discussed in a later lesson, to create your company file instead. If you continue using the Express Start and selected the For Myself, I'm the Admin option button, then the next screen lets you sign in with an existing Intuit ID or create a new one. To sign in with an existing Intuit ID, enter the Intuit ID or email address associated with the Intuit ID into the email or user ID field. You must be connected to the internet for this part of the company file setup. Then enter the password for the Intuit ID into the password field. Then click the sign in button to sign in. Alternatively, to create a new Intuit account, Click the Create an Account link in this page to show an account creation screen. Then enter the email address to use for the Intuit ID into the Email Address field. Optionally, enter a phone number into the Phone Recommended field. Enter an account password into the Password and Confirm Password fields. Select a security question from the Security Question drop-down and type an answer into the Answer field. Write the question and answer down as you may need it to validate your identity later. Finally, click the Create Account button to create the new account. Alternatively, if you do not want to sign in using your Intuit ID, click the Remind Me drop-down button at the bottom of this screen, select How Long to defer signing in from the drop-down, and then click Yes in the confirmation message box that appears. After signing in or skipping it entirely if you chose the For Someone Else option button on the first screen, the next screen requires you to enter your company's name as you want it to appear to customers and vendors into the Business Name field. Next, click the Help Me Choose hyperlink next to the Industry field to open the Select Your Industry window. This window allows you to select your company file's industry. Your industry choice impacts which features of QuickBooks are enabled and disabled and determines the initial chart of accounts used by your company file. You can also change these settings later if needed. Scroll through the industry list in the lower left corner of this window until you find the industry type that most closely matches the type of business you operate. Then click the industry choice to select it. The chart of accounts for the selected type of industry then appears in the list to the right for you to review if desired. If you cannot find a specific industry match, you can select the General Product-Based Business or General Service-Based Business choices. You should only choose the Other slash None option if you want to create all of the accounts used by your company file manually, by yourself or with your accountant. After making an industry selection, then click the OK button to return to the Express Start screen. Next, use the Business Type drop-down to select your company file's legal structure. This determines its tax-related settings. Then enter the email address for the company's administrator into the admin's email field. The remaining fields in this screen are all optional. You can enter your company's FEIN, or Federal Employer Identification Number, or your Social Security Number into the Employer Identification Number, EIN, field. You can enter the main business phone number into the Phone field. You can enter your business address into the Business Address fields and also enter the associated City, State, Zip, and Country into the City, State, Zip, and Country fields. After completing the fields in this screen, 
Click the Create Company button to continue. A working message box momentarily appears to show the progress of the program at creating your company file. When completed, the message box disappears and your new company file appears along with the Finish screen of the QuickBooks Desktop Setup window. If desired, you can click any of the Learn More buttons shown in the QuickBooks Desktop Setup window to learn more about the additional features shown. When you are ready to begin entering data into your new QuickBooks file, click the Start Working button in the QuickBooks Desktop Setup screen to close the window and start using QuickBooks Desktop Pro. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.